everyone, it's the second week of May 2009. My name is Natalie. I'm going to be doing a series of uh, video updates for the office this week, just so you know. And the topic up uh, for discussion is contracts. I've got four items I wanted to discuss with you. The first was uh, satisfactory financing clause. I've noticed quite a few offers coming in um, from buyer agents outside of our office writing satis satisfactory financing and as we all know this clause is unenforceable. So if you could please identify in your contract some more detail. If that's not possible, could you get uh, a conversation from the buyer's agent discussing whether they're high ratio financing or conventional financing or otherwise. Please make notes in your file that you did discuss this. And secondly is uh, deposits in the perfect world. We'd all like to have 5% or higher um, in the in best interests of uh, our sellers. If uh, sometimes the money's not available or it's tied up in other areas, uh, again, please talk to the other agent. Um, make notes in your files that you've done so in case you need it for future reference. Thirdly is uh, item number 20 on our contracts. It's agency disclosure. And quite often I've been finding where the um, office isn't um, uh, filled out and the agent is or vice versa. So please double tri tri triple check that for us. Uh, make sure that there's no blanks in your contract. And fourthly, if you're working sometimes with a limited dual agency, dis always a disclosure of remuneration with buyers, or you have a disclosure of interest in trade involved, these all need to be agreed to prior to entering into a contract. And I have uh, clauses on our office web forms that state that the buyer and seller have agreed to the terms of those agreements prior to entering into the contract. And that's our office update, uh, second week of May 2009. My name's Natalie. If you need to reach me, you can get a hold of me through the office at 604 764 -0161. Have a great day and happy selling.